And this is the Australian wildfires, and you can see the plumes coming off the continent here. You may remember the 2020 Australian brush fire. It burned nearly 40 million acres and pumped massive amounts of smoke into the atmosphere. It injected on the order of about 1 million tons of uh, soot and organics into the stratosphere. Doug Kinnison is a scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder. So the soot is being injected up into above the ozone layer, actually. He and a team of researchers from across the country wanted to know exactly what that smoke was doing to the ozone layer. That's the protective layer of the Earth's atmosphere shielding the planet from the sun's damaging UV rays. Because anything that affects the ozone layer will affect the amount of ultraviolet light that gets to the surface and cause skin cancer and, and, and plant damage, etc. The scientists found not only does the smoke and soot stay in the stratosphere for years, while it's there, it changes the chemical makeup of the ozone. And what we, what we observed was that satellite data said that the ozone in the middle latitudes in the southern hemisphere from this Australian fire just depleted ozone on the order of three to five percent. Consider this, back in the 80s, protocols were enacted to reduce the amount of ozone-depleting chemicals called chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs. As a result, the ozone is now recovering about 1% per decade. If, if, we, if we follow those protocols, our ozone will be back to uh, pre-CFC days in about year 2045. So it takes a while, but at 1% per decade, uh, we'll get there. So depleting the ozone by 3 to 5 percent in a single year means that recovery progress takes a major step back. That's what we're concerned about. Kinnison says the hotter and drier our climate gets, the more massive fires we will see, further endangering our ozone. By uh, reducing the amount of greenhouse gas warming, you're going to have an atmosphere that's not as prone to these large wild wildfires. A safe and healthy ozone to protect our eyes, our skin, and our health. Keely Chalmers, 9 News. So in addition to minimizing climate change, this research stresses the importance of mitigating for wildfires to minimize the chance that these megafires start in the first place.